I've always thought you either are a horse person or you're not. It's evident even in little kids, kind of a level of comfort and trust that the horse notices too. Now more little girls than boys, to my observation, naturally relate to the mind inside the horse's head. I often have to explain to boys that there's no mechanical linkage, no steering column, hydraulic brake lines, or gears that connect their rein to the horse's feet. Girls seem to grasp more easily the concept that the reins, heels, and body position are signals from a human brain to an animal brain. So, according to my observations, you would think that the mainstay, the customer base of the explosion of horse whisperer clinics would be men, male horse persons who want to learn what seems to come naturally to female horse people. But it's not. It is women who will follow a favorite horse whisperer around the country for years, still trying to become one with their horse. Well, maybe motherly instinct is involved, like a mom still trying to tell her 46-year-old kid to keep his elbows off the table. Or maybe she doesn't rope or punch cows or steeplechase or play polo, and horse clinicking is her hobby. After all, the horse might be her best friend. And who better to spend the weekend with? So for you men, I appreciate there are many of you who are like me and enjoy the horse clinics. And for you ladies who like to ride but don't necessarily care for the touchy-feely aspects that some promote, I acknowledge the multitude of exceptions to my observations. But I can't tell you how many times I've eavesdropped on horses talking to each other at the ranch in dude strings and at training clinics and horse shows. And the phrase I hear repeated over and over is, oh, I don't know. She just understands me better. This is Baxter Black from out there.